we have said write down something or specific things and ask this question address it whether there are spirits or there are medical conditions or whether there are psychical conditions emotional conditions whatever it is that defies explanation these are not things we can, this is not a question we address to a mosquito this is not a question that you ask cockroach this is a question you ask what acts speaks things and operates like he's God otherwise you will miss it God says to whom then will you liken me or to whom shall I be equal says the Holy One lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things just one creator he's presenting his credentials his CV as the only God sciences and scientists are still trying to look for the origin of the universe but one claims absolutely and until now no one else has claimed it and science has not been able and will never be able to conclude and say to the contrary because everything of science is speculation it is not something of what that is why science itself grows to the point of having obsolete theories and postulations because it is human thinking and calculation and it surpasses itself with time but this is absolutely say, lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things if you have seen him then come back who brings out their host by number and who calls them all by name he knows the name of all by the greatness of his might and the strength of his power not one is missing that one is God that one is God and if there is anything in your life that cannot talk like that in truth I'm not talking about pretending in truth like in truth then it ends now in the name of Jesus only one speaks like that let's take another scripture before we move to the subject matter we are just trying to introduce you to what this means that same Isaiah 44 and just verse 8 Isaiah 44 and just verse 8 do not fear yes not be afraid why because there are things trying to get the attention of God there are things trying to make you feel that after God there is this one and before God there is this one things that after you have worshipped God you have to worship them after you have honored God you have to settle them he said do not be afraid if you are in that situation not be afraid do not fear not be afraid have I not told you from that time and declared it you are my witnesses and somebody will witness tonight somebody who has a specific thing to which this question is addressed specifically because this is a yes or no question an answer will come and when answer comes not if when answer comes you will be the witness of God say so you are my witnesses so God looks for witnesses who will be his witness he's looking to say he's looking for witnesses it means there is a proof because witness is needed for a proof the one in whose life this will be proven is the one who will witness to him he said you are my witnesses you are my witnesses as you are hearing you are considered you are adopted you have been you have been elected and positioned and chosen as a witness to bear this in your body to bear the evidence of this in your medical condition in your situation i just want you to rise and volunteer i am a witness i am a witness 
I am a witness. I accept to carry the evidence in my body. I accept to carry the proof in my case. Mention in what area? Specifically. Specifically. Mention specifically. In what area? Specifically. In what area? Mention that thing. In this, I am a witness. In this, I am a witness. Witness means uh, I am available for demonstration. I am available for demonstration. I am available for demonstration. Sopalakata. Lasikata. Malaboshatanda. Labrasekata. Laboshata. Labrakata. I am a witness. Kata. Who is addressing something? Say, I'm a witness. I want to be the repeated story of your mights in this area. I want to be a demonstration, a demonstration in this area. I am a witness. I am a witness. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. I'm a witness. Volunteer, make yourself available. The, the, the more hopeless your condition, the greater the opportunity to witness. The more helpless your situation, the greater Kapole Brakanda. The more useless your story, the greater the weight of the witness. Kalaboshata Labrakanda Sotola Librasata. The more useless Sakata Malakata. The more helpless Makato. The more hopeless Sata. The more distressing it is, uh, the better I'm a witness. Ah, Labrakanda, Shata Tolabra. I'm a witness. Malakata, you are my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Ah, is there a God beside me? You are my witnesses. That one I know. There is no God beside you. Let it be proven in situations. Let it be proven in conditions. Let it be proven. Let it be proven. There is no God. Is there a God besides me? Indeed, there is no other rock. I know not one. Yahweh says he does not know. And if he does not know, I don't know. And because he does not know, it does not exist in your family. There is none like God in your community. There is none like God in your situation. There is none like God in your story. There is none like God in your affliction. There is none like God. They will bow now because only God rises and stands. Only God stands in the congregation of beings. All four prostrates. I know not one. Somebody is free. I know not one. Somebody is restored. I know not one. A captive is delivered. I know not one God that will resist your rising. I know not one God in your family that will decree a thing and bring it to pass. I know not one. Always say, do not pass. And you cannot pass. Somebody is crossing. Somebody is prevailing. Somebody has crossed over. Somebody has crossed over. Somebody has escaped destruction. Somebody. Burial will take place over your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight, lift up your two hands. As you ask this question in your roots and foundation.
Anyone that wants to stand after tonight to say, I am God, burial will take place. Burial will take place. Burial will take place. Anyone that will seek to stand and act and think and talk like God, like be you, be, without Him, you cannot make it. Without Him, you cannot live. Burial will take place in the name of Jesus. Whether it is physical barrier or spiritual barrier or political barrier or any kind of barrier, whatever stands and says, I am like God over your destiny, standing in the path and the plan of God, seeking to take the glory of God, I decree the burial will take place in the name of Jesus. Sir. I know not one. Say you are my witnesses. Is there a God besides me? Indeed there is none. There is no other rock. I know not one. Declare it. Uh, I know not one. After Yahweh. There is no other God. Beyond Yahweh. There is no other God. Apart from Yahweh. There is no other God. I know not one uh, my body does not recognize one my dream does not recognize one my call does not recognize one my health does not recognize one my finances do not recognize one my life does not recognize one uh, my marriage does not recognize one uh, this destiny this territory this place this call uh, does not recognize one only one uh, and it's Yahweh and his son is Jesus and Messiah Halabo Shata Kalabakata I thought you would speak I thought you would speak Labrakanda Laboshakata Malabrakata Malaboshakanda Sata ta 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 Malabrakanda Labrakapa Lama Sobrakanda Malabraso Toliamakata Malakata Things of the dead Malakata Encounters with the dead Malabrakata Eating with the dead Yabrakata Fellowship with the dead Lakata Set back a Labrakanda Maso Pelekata Affliction Malibrosata The power of iniquity Pralakapa Ele Mosonda Projections from hell Manipulation of emotions was like a Suicidal tendencies, not like God. They are broken. Yokes are broken. Graves are open. Step out because there is not like God. Cross the limit. Do what you could not do. Now that you know, no one, only God, Yahweh, His Son Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Not one. Robbery and robbers. Not one. No one like God. None. There is no assistant. There is no junior God. There is only one God. Jesus is the proof. And the next witness you are. Malakata. Speak like you are a witness. Say, my body is a witness. My condition is a witness. My healing is a proof. My restoration is a witness. Shakata. Saprakata. Saprakata. Mosoto pre. Likata labra. Shatato lebrat. Sapra kapo, the 
Oh, a Make it your declaration. None like God. In heaven there is none. Simple. It is simple enough. Simple enough. Simple and eternal. Simple and eternal. No chain. No kingdom. No ruler. No Lord. No authority. No force. No idea. No cover. No empire. No emperor. No. No ruler. No other God. No idol. No sorcerer. No divination. Which demon, which God, which monitoring spirit is like God? Now they perish by the fire of God. Now they perish by the might of God. Now they crumble. 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 Their yokes are broken. Their yokes are broken. Their yokes are broken. Their doors are broken. Their yokes are broken. Their doors are open. Come back. No more recurring situation. Something that goes and comes back. Symptoms that goes and comes back. It has ended now. In the name of Jesus. Sexual encounters 
in the dream they have ended now in the name of Jesus Oh, I find the Virgo. I find the Virgo. I find the Virgo. I'm passing me. Oh, I find the Virgo. of Jesus Christ. Be seated. Let's look at the passage from where or from which we'll be drawing inspiration and execution. Daniel chapter 10. Daniel chapter 10 is generally about Daniel's desire to seek God. To humble himself in fasting. To deny himself. To seek God. I want to trust God that as you say there is no other God. That you have humbled yourself before the true God. Because it says, if you humble yourself before him, he will exalt you. Let me trust that from now, who does not take him seriously? This God we are talking about. That the word of God will be true in your life. That it will be said of you that this one too was born in Zion. And that this one is written in the register of the people. That this one too was born in Zion. And Jesus is the registry and the register. Jesus is the registry, the portal, and the space of Zion, the kingdom of God. I trust God that even right now, the Spirit of God is facilitating your submission and acceptance of God because it is only unto His own that the Word of God is proven. The word of God is incapable of being proven in the life of those outside God and outside the government of the word of God. And God does not allow himself to be proven by those who do not know him. So that means it, you cannot bear the truth of it. When he say you are witnesses, my own, those whose names are found in the books who are found in the registry of Zion, those who are born of God in, in Christ. But Daniel chapter 10, like I said, a book about his humbling himself before God to seek God. And what we will see is what follows as consequence of his seeking God in humility. Verse 10. Suddenly a hand touched me. He's talking about a vision, an apparition. The revelation of a heavenly being. In response. There are angels all over here. Your faith in God through Christ permits them to minister to you. Please submit and permit the heavenly host to prove in your case that there is no one like God because heaven is agog heaven is 
third heaven is walked up to prove that there is no one like God this is a time when the heavenly the heavenly realm is active because every created being of God all his hosts they know that there is no one like God and they are zealous to prove it so your faith and submission to God and an alignment allows the zealous spirits messengers to use you as a case study that no one is like God and this is a practical situation Verse 10, suddenly a hand touched me, which made me tremble on my knees and on the palms of my hands. And he said to me, oh Daniel, man greatly beloved. Look at this. Another version will say, greatly esteemed. Greatly esteemed. This is heavenly introduction about a man or a woman. That has to be a proof. And if you have not yet come to that place, your salvation and deliverance from sin today becomes the first proof for you to be esteemed for other greater things to happen. All of them will happen in one fell soup, just once. Salvation takes place, deliverance, healing, miracles, signs, and what in one fell soup. Oh, Daniel, man greatly, who said amen? Did anybody say amen? amen? I say all will happen in one fell soup. One all salvation, forgiveness, restoration, healing, deliverance, signs and wonders and miracles. All of them will happen in just one touch in the name of Jesus. Oh Daniel, man greatly beloved understand the words that I speak to you and stand upright for I have now been sent to you. When one is sent to you is to prove a case. I have been sent to you. While he was speaking these words to me, I stood trembling. Then he said to me, do not fear Daniel. For from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard. And I have come because of your words. So we are talking, at this point we can talk about spiritual distance and spiritual journey. The journey from the throne to manifestation say so from that time that you spoke it was heard and I have come because of your words but verse 13 look at verse 13 but the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days creating a distance and a time Things in between, beings in between, administrations in between asking and receiving. Every child of God from the time of asking, it is established. But the scripture is painting a picture of a distance between the hearing and the manifesting. The scripture is talking about the intervening encounters and experiences, divert, diversions that take place, disruptions that take place, interventions, negative interventions, negative interventions that make a believer feel that like God does not hear. I want you to pay attention. So this ministry, these encounters of today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then Monday ultimately, they are to deal with situations 
situations that have beings, authorities, in between God's plan, in between God hearing and God manifesting in the life of a believer. What is it that makes the prayer of 20 years ago delayed in answer? What is it that keeps what was sent 50 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 1 year ago, 6 months ago, months ago, weeks ago? What keeps it from manifesting? Medicine may have explanation. Medicine has explanation in various cases. And sometimes the explanation is that we don't understand. That's the explanation. Science may have explanation. The sages, the wise ones of this world, counselors, may have explanation. But the scripture is giving us revelational explanation. It said, while you spoke, and he was heard and had been sent. In between this, the prince of the kingdom of Persia would stood me 21 days, causing what will have been instantly to now be weekly. 21 days, monthly, yearly. Something that is now decayed. This is how a marriage given as a gift is not celebrated and consummated. This is how children given as gifts have not arrived in pregnancy. This is not business. This is, this is why business ideas meant to create wealth do not manifest in reality. This is when visions that were compelling in revelation and with the assurance of the certainty and the greatness in manifestation of the result are yet to take off. Why? The prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me. So today, we ju will just look, have a look at Persia. That's all we will do today. Tomorrow, we will deal with what we stand, what it means to withstand, and we will clear the withstanding. And on Saturday, by the grace of God, God will take us further, still in this scripture, and on Sunday, and then on Monday. So today, let's deal with Pesha. It's very curious that Pesha, looking at Pesha in the ancient map, this is not a teaching it's just to give you a brief revelation and inspiration so that you know how to speak when you go home tonight if you have never been so bothered to rise late in the night and question things and talk you have permission to and talk until the burden has lifted you and the only thing is that who is like god you take the scripture take the revelation and address and position yourself in the son in the finished work of the son in salvation and then speak in the name of jesus and question things that real that comes in real occurrence that 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 refuses to yield to medical explanation, refuses to yield to explanation, refuses to yield to any kind of thing, any kind of remedy, any kind of any kind of any kind of effort. So let's deal with Pesha. The first thing is that what is Pesha? We know Pesha as a territory, a kingdom, a kingdom that took over from Babylon overtook Babylon, overthrew Babylon. And Pesha, the Persian kingdom spread, extended from India to Egypt. Western Asia, 
parts of Africa and Europe and the Persian Gulf where we now have Iraq, Iran extending up Israel was consumed in it. So it was a large, vast empire covering from India to Egypt, parts of Africa, Europe, Western Asia, and the Persian Gulf. And, and if you just go to your map and just look at it, was a vast place. But what is the meaning of Persia? Persia, before we talk about Persia, Persia comes from Persis. Persis like P-E-R-S-I-S. -S. What is the meaning of Persis? Persis means one who takes by storm. We are trying to look at Asia because, I mean Persia, because until you understand Persia, you will not, not understand the prince of Persia. When you say the masquerade of Ibibio, it will not make sense when you say Ibibio masquerade or Anang masquerade, Ibo masquerade. Until you go and understand Ibo, understand Ibibio, understand Anang, then you will now find out the oppression of Anang in that masquerade. I don't know, am I communicating? Okay. So Persia from Persis speaks of one who takes by storm. Who visits by storm? That's number one. Number two about Persis, the one who divides. Two things about Persis from which we have Persia. One who takes by storm, not by negotiation. If you look at that scripture, it looks like this is characteristic of what Persia and Persian kingdom represented. That it was not by negotiation, it was by storm. He said, the prince of Persia withstood me. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days. Not by negotiation, but by storm. And divided. So Persis, from which we have Persia, taken by storm and dividing. Talk of dividing. Anything that you divide, you decrease. Talk of dividing. Everything you divide, you diminish. The scripture Jesus himself talks about a kingdom divided. Cannot stand. Marriage divided. Cannot bring up children in a healthy beautiful perfect way there will be rough edges a company divided returns will not be the same ministry divided a life divided divided everything that is divided decreases in magnitude and ability Now, you begin to look at your life. What divides you? You may not know what divides you, but what is the, what is the implication? What are the implications of divisions in your life? In what area are you diminished in strength? Joy diminished. Peace diminished. Strength and stability diminished. Because of the one that takes by storm and then divides. And now, the one who takes by storm and divides is the one who acts like God. Because taking by storm means it does not matter who is involved. I am not asking you who sent you. Look at that scripture. The, the prince of Persia, there was no who, who sent you what? No question. The point is this taken by storm and dividing that even the strength of an angel diminished. Why? It was in the region of Persia. 
So you can be holy and righteous, but diminished. You can be a child of God for years, but you come to a point that your ability and your capacity in God divided and diminished. So that things you should command, you cannot. When you come under the authority and the rulership of the patient kingdom, you begin to struggle because strength is diminished. Now this is how you understand. If you, if you read that Daniel chapter 10 and see the impact of the appearance of that angel unto Daniel, you will wonder how will such a majestic being if you read the earlier parts the preceding passages before the 10th verse and see the one that appeared whose face was like the sun eyes like fire powerful and Daniel fainted at his voice because his voice was like the roaring of mighty waters and yet having come into the Persian territory was taken by storm and then divided such that what he carried to bring testimonial of God's goodness to Daniel was delayed for a season so that means we are talking about you cannot, you cannot say, Oh, I'm a child of God, that this doesn't matter. While you are on the earth, what territory are you walking in? Libra Kata. What kingdom is your business built? The Lord is the earth and his fullness thereof. Libra Kata. But there are territorial forces who talk like God, who act like God, they are called principalities and powers and the host of spiritual wickedness in the heavenly places. They are. That is why Michael had to be the response. Why? Because these, author, these, these beings, they talk like God, they think like God, they divide like God. And if God does not respond, then they act like God and go scot free. But no more. Rise to your feet. I say not anymore. Not anymore. If they did that last night. Uh, not this night again. If they did that yesterday. Not today. If they did that in that generation. In past generation. No longer in this generation. Say no one is like God. Say I am a witness. Uh, that there is no one like God. Raise your voice. Uh, and speak like there is Raise your voice. Say no more. Not in this territory. No more. Not in my ancestry. No more. Not in my family. No more. Not in my business. No more. Not in my health. If it happened yesterday, that was yesterday. No more. Oh. Fnibierke. What used to afflict no longer has passport to afflict. What used to stop no longer has power to stop. What used to take by storm all those who were taken by storm. I declare a national holiday of freedom. All those whose lives have been taken by storm, whose lives have been hijacked by storm, whose destinies have been divided and diminished, I declare release. I declare release. I declare release. I declare release. Release of everything that has been taken by storm. Release of everything that has been taken by storm. Halabosha prakata Malakapala kataya tata Loto makapala prakata yalata Salama sobrekanda 
Labo shata ta 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 Malabrakanda Who is like God Labrakanda Speak to Pesha Speak to the Pesha of your life Speak to the Pesha of your birth Speak to the Pesha of your business Speak to the Pesha of your marriage Speak to the Pesha Who is like God Mikael Mikael Malabosha Prakata Malabosha Prakata Malabrasha Malabashoto La Prakata Malabrasha Prakata Lama Soprekata Labra Soprekata Maliakata Brakata Labo Soprekata Malabo Soprekata Malabra Soprekata Malabra Soprekata Labra Kata Lodo Soprekata Lodo Soprekata Malabra Kata Lassi Kata Malabra Kata Lomresi Kata Malabra Kata Basso Soprekata Lona sepra kata, mala braka poše braka da, mali braka da, lasi kata braka da, mala braka da, lasi kata, mala braka da, šobre kapa na poše bra, mala braka da, šobre kapa na poše bra, mala braka poše bra, ando to braka da, mašto ando to bra, masa braka da, lema šobre kapa da, mala braka poše braka da. Malabraka poshe brekata, malabrasa. Declare to Pesha, you can no longer take by storm. You can no longer divide. Everything that has taken what belongs to you by storm. I ask who is like God, release, because you are not like God, release, you are not like God, release, Mikael, release, who is like God, release. Not again. No more. That was yesterday. Now restoration. Now restoration. Every soul that has been taken by storm. <laughs> Every family that has been taken by storm. I declare release. 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 Be seated. So Pesha means to break in pieces. From pieces. Pesha therefore means to break in pieces. Pesha means to split. To distribute. To divide. To tear. That's what Pesha represents. Splitting. If you have been, if you have made a billion and it splits into five, you no longer have a billion. If you bring splitting into any situation, you bring decrease. Distribute. So pressure is that which breaks in pieces, splits, and then distributes. So you see people's destinies broken, split, divided, and then distributed. A part to witchcraft, another part to the marine, the other part to rebellion. One that was meant for glory. This is the assignment of Pesha. Katalabra. 
So you see families divided and distributed among the different stakeholders of darkness. The work of Handel Pray Kata. And the confidence of Pesha is like is that there's no one is, is no one, no one, no one is like God. Let me show you another scripture that the word that is connected to Pesha comes up and you will understand. Daniel chapter 5, verse 25. We're almost done. You go home and pray. Pray until, pray at home tonight until a burden leaves you. Because you will question what you usually see in the dream. And if you wake up from that dream, then you kneel down and go back to that dream. And ask question, who is like God? Whatever had taken you by storm, it means overpowered. Sometimes ignorance, the scripture says, my people perish, my people perish for lack of knowledge. So for God's children, ignorance of who they are in God and what they have in God can become the only foundation and justification for the overpowering and taking by storm of pressure, of the division, the dividing and splitting, and then the distributing. Of what belongs to a child of God. Daniel chapter 5 verse 25 to 28. About the night. That the son of Nebuchadnezzar. Decided. To take vessels. That his father Nebuchadnezzar. Had taken from the house of God. At the high point of his feast. He said bring me the vessels. And he began to drink wine. And why will he ask for those vessels? Gold vessels. Brought from the sanctuary of Yahweh. Secret holy thing that his father did not touch. But he said bring me. Because he was acting like God. He said there is no God. If there, if there were to be God he would come and rescue. And take these vessels. And he has not come. Bring the vessel. Let I and my concubines and all my, my lords. Let's drink from them. That means let's glorify ourselves as the only God. And then a hand wrote on the wall. Right where the lantern was so that everyone will see. Then the fingers of the hand were sent from him and this writing was written. Verse 25. And this is the inscription that was written. Many, many. Take care. What's the next one? Opasin, that's it. The word Opasin is connected to Pesha. And if you look at the explanation of Opasin or Pesha, or Perez, you will discover is the same root. And what is the what is the explanation? The explanation in verse 26. This is the interpretation of each word. Many God has numbered your kingdom and finished it. Take care. You have been weighed in the balances and found wanting. Then Perez, which could be Perses, Persis, or Persia, or person. Your kingdom, read it. That's a related passage that will let you know the usage of that word. Divided. And you know from that night, the man ceased to be a king. Why? It had been divided. So many of God's children come under the administration of division and they cease to rule. They cease to be in charge because they have been divided and distributed. That's the significance of Pesha. We don't have time to go. Tomorrow we shall deal with the prince. Because the prince is the carrier of the mandate. The destiny, the identity and the administration of the divider. So tonight, I want you to ask every territory. Because Pesha is a territory, a kingdom. The kingdom of the ancestors. The kingdom of your father's side. Of your mother's side. What ancient kingdoms did your mother receive help from? 
What ancient kingdoms were the parents of your mother sacrificing to? What ancient kingdom were the parents of your father said? What ancient kingdom are we actually living? What ancient kingdom are you walking? The point is this, you are a child of God like Daniel praying. The scripture talks about this world like Egypt. The people of Israel were in Egypt, that was it. And until Christ comes and takes us home to the heavenly kingdom, where we shall be under one government, Yahweh, until then, there, there will be patient, patient forces seeking to take you by storm. And the only reason is because you don't sacrifice to them. The only reason is that you don't bow to them. And they come by storm. And they come to divide. If you resist them, they divide you. And by dividing, they diminish you. And they distribute you around. And before you know it, even as a child of God, you begin to question yourself. You say, I can't understand this. I fast and pray. I'm walking right with God. But I don't have explanation to these things that are happening to me. The point is that why we are in this world uh, we are the light of the world uh, but to be the light of the world means uh, you are in confrontation with the darkness of the world uh, and the powers of this world uh, they come by stomach uh, when you least expect it and take something that belongs to you take something that is yours uh, divides your uh, divides your attention divides your concentration divides your focus uh, divides your devotion rise to your feet for we don't have time so tonight you are going to ask the territory where you are planted the house where you live what patient kingdom rules over that territory the office where you work what patient kingdom is at work there the territory of your life where you marry from her, where you are located, the school of your children, a young girl in this house who is just very little, not even yet in teenage, talks about the school that she goes to. She's knowledgeable enough to say, my school is so corrupt sexually. A child who is not yet a teenager, that means a patient territory. We are young people are divided, taken by storm before they know the importance and the significance of purity. And they are taken by storm and divided and diminished. I'm talking about where your children go to school, where you study, where you live, where you walk. Because while in the flesh, this territory, this territory, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. I want you in a brief while we shall speak. I want you to identify a Pesha, a patient kingdom. I just want you to focus. Is it a patient kingdom dividing your health, dividing your finances, dividing your strength, dividing your purity, dividing your concentration, taking you by storm? What is it that has seized you by storm? Seize your wife's health by storm. Seize your husband by storm. Seize your daughter by storm. Seize your son by storm. Seize your office by storm. Seize your company by storm. What is it? Allah Masoto. Begin to ask who is like God. The only response of heaven to the patient kingdom was Michael. And Michael is Mikael, and Mikael means who is like God. When Pesha is at work, you have no response except Michael. So begin to ask, who is like God? The king of Pesha, hear me. Who is like God? The witchcraft Pesha, hear me. Who is like God? Ancestral Pesha, hear me. Territorial Pesha, health Pesha. Who is speaking? Oh, you are going to speak Oh, Kapata. 
Malabrakata. It is a yes or no question. Pesha that takes my storm, Malakata. What took me by storm several years ago, Lakata? Who is like a Malabrakanda? Labrakata. You no longer keep me, Lakata. You no longer keep this call, Lakata, Yakata. You no longer keep my integrity and dignity, speaker. You no longer keep my purity, speaker. You no longer keep my vision. You no longer call. You no longer Labatata. Liata. What took my storm and divide? Malata tata. The release has come. What took my storm and divided? And divided and distributed. Ah, I summon your life. Wherever it has been distributed, whoever has taken part of it, I summon your life from the marine. I summon your life from poverty. I summon your life from shame. I summon your life from barrenness. I summon your life from uselessness. Wherever you have been distributed to, who is like God? Masoprakata, labrakapo, sakrada, labrakapo shatata, labrak. I gather you back, labrakata. I gather you back. I gather you back to strength. I gather you back to health. I gather you back because there's no one like her. I gather you back to ability. I gather you back to purity. I gather you back. I gather you back to prosperity. I gather you back to increase. I gather you back because there is no one like God. I gather you back to success. I gather you back. I gather you back to glory. I gather you back to salvation. I gather you back. I gather you back. Many a witty answer, Chigova. I mean, Moyo. I mean, well. Many a witty answer, Chigova. I mean, Moyo. I mean, well. Many a witty answer, Tobong Membo. I mean, Moyo. I mean, well. Many a witty answer, the Concan. I mean, Moyo. I mean, well. Many a witty Tandi kara, ami moyo, ami po, mani e wozi e, tega yova, ami moyo, ami ko, o ami moyo, ami ko, ami moyo, ami ko, ami moyo, ami ko, ami moyo, ami ko, mani e wozi e, tega yova, ami moyo. Oh, I'm the water to drink of. Ah, I'm the water. Ana la la boy, I'm the dolo. I'm the boy. I'm the water to drink of. I'm the. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Come up here, come up here, back at us, madam. I'm the water to drink of. I'm the boy. I'm the boy.
darkness, make a hell in sin, make a hell in darkness, not make a hell in sickness, make a hell. Who is like God? Who is like God? Who is like God in might? Who is like God in power? Who is like God in glory? Who is like God in signs? Who is like God in miracle? Who is like God? Hey, Because there's no one like God. I declare your release because there's no one like God. The Persian kingdom can no longer keep you. What divides will no longer divide you. I assemble you back. I call you back. I call you out of the grave. I call you out of barrenness. I call you out of waste. I call you out of darkness. I call you out of waste. I call you out of I call you out of weakness. I call you out of darkness. I call you out of the water. I call you out of shame. I call you. I call you out of darkness. I call you out of delay. Release, 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 release. release. Shout it Healing, I declare healing in your body. I declare healing in your mind. I declare healing in your soul. I declare healing in your eyes. I declare healing in your womb. I declare healing in your bone. I declare release. Your doors are open. You shall no longer be divided. I gather you. 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 What does I release you? Because no one is like God. The air has released you. Because no one is like God. The line has released your right because no one is like that. Be restored, be lifted, come back to strength, come back to power, come back to hope, come back to glory, come back to health. Shout Jesus!